Strawberry jam is more than just a sweet treat. It's the aroma of summer, the taste of childhood, and a versatile addition to breakfast, desserts, or even savory dishes. But how is this thick, vibrant red spread with its rich flavor and perfect texture made? Today, we'll take you behind the scenes of one of the largest jam production factories, where tons of fresh strawberries are transformed daily into thousands of jars of your favorite jam. It all starts in the fields, where special varieties of strawberries are cultivated, juicy, aromatic, with firm texture and high sugar content. To preserve their flavor and structure, harvesting takes place early in the morning, either by hand or with robotic platforms. These machines are equipped with sensors that detect ripeness and gently cut the fruit without damaging the delicate flesh. The harvested berries are transported to the factory immediately. As speed is critical, the less time that passes, the fresher and more vibrant the jam's flavor will be. At the factory, the strawberries undergo initial inspection. Machines equipped with cameras and AI assess the color, size, and shape. Any spoiled, overripe, or undersized berries are rejected and sent for compost or secondary processing. Next comes calibration. Strawberries are sorted by batch based on their destination. Some go into jam production, some for freezing, and others for concentrates and pastry fillings. Though delicate, strawberries require thorough cleaning. First comes a bubble bath. Water is infused with air, creating tiny bubbles that gently lift off dust and debris. Then the berries are rinsed under clean water and disinfected using a mild food-safe solution like chlorine dioxide to remove bacteria and pesticide residue. After this two-stage washing process, the strawberries are ready for the next phase. Now it's time to remove the green tops. Automated machines use cameras and lasers to locate the precise cut point and high precision blades remove the stems without damaging the fruit. On large scale lines, up to 40,000 berries can be processed per hour. After that, the strawberries are sliced, some into halves, others pureed, depending on the recipe requirements for each batch. The prepared fruit is loaded into giant kettles here begins the flavor magic. Sugar is added, often at a one-to-one -one ratio, to achieve the desired consistency and natural preservation. Natural lemon juice or citric acid is also introduced to maintain bright color and balance sweetness. To thicken the jam, pectin is added, a natural gelling agent derived from fruit. Without it, the jam would be too runny. Some recipes also include vanilla, mint, or even spices to create unique flavor profiles. The mixture is heated to 100 to 105 degrees Celsius, 212 to 221 degrees Fahrenheit. This is no ordinary boiling. It's a precise cooking process. Too hot, and the flavor becomes overcooked. Too cool, and the jam won't set properly. Technicians monitor temperature, density, and even the sound of the boil, all of which affect the final texture. Special paddles stir the mixture slowly to prevent scorching. Before filling begins, a readiness test is done. A small drop of jam is placed on a cold surface. If it holds its shape and gently gels, it's ready. If not, cooking continues. It's important not to overheat. Preserving aroma and natural color is a key marker of high quality jam. The hot jam is dispensed into sterilized glass jars or plastic containers. Each one is filled by automatic machines with strict accuracy, within one gram of target volume. After filling, the jars are sealed with airtight lids and sent for pasteurization. The sealed jars are placed into pasteurization chambers, where they are held at around 85 degrees Celsius 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. This process eliminates any residual microbes and ensures long-term shelf stability. Afterward, the jars are cooled in a dust and moisture-free controlled environment. 
At the final stage, jars are labeled with production date, expiration date, and ingredients. Then they're boxed and sent to storage. Each batch is assigned a digital code for full traceability from the field to the store shelf. After pasteurization, the jars of jam move onto a cooling conveyor. This is a long transport line that passes through a zone of reduced temperature and gentle ventilation. The goal is to stabilize the jam inside the container and prevent condensation under the lid. This process takes anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours, depending on the size of the packaging. The result is a fully finished product, retaining its flavor, aroma, and the desired consistency. The finished jars are sent to climate-controlled warehouses. The temperature is maintained at plus 18 to 20 degrees Celsius, and humidity is kept strictly below 60%. This prevents separation of the jam or condensation inside the packaging. Each batch is entered into a digital tracking system, down to the exact filling time and production line number. This ensures that every jar can be traced from field to customer. Quality assurance doesn't stop after cooking. At this stage, the jam undergoes rigorous testing for compliance with standards. The following are tested. Consistency. A rheometer measures density and viscosity. Color. A spectrophotometer compares the hue to standard samples. Flavor and aroma. A sensory panel performs a tasting evaluation. Microbiology. Random samples are incubated to detect possible bacteria. If any parameter is out of range, the batch is removed from circulation and either reprocessed or disposed of. After packaging and inspection, the jam is shipped to supermarkets, restaurants, hotels, and even international markets. Each box is labeled with barcodes, QR codes, and tracking systems. Isothermal trucks are used to prevent overheating during transport especially important in warm regions where even brief temperature spikes can affect product quality. Up to 100 tons of jam are shipped daily from a large factory. The product reaches dozens of countries, from Europe to Asia. Modern production lines can do much more than classic strawberry jam. Today's range includes jam with whole strawberry chunks, vitamin-enriched versions, sugar-free, diet-friendly options, organic jam made from certified farm berries, creative blends, strawberry plus mint, strawberry plus basil, strawberry plus chia. Each flavor has its own recipe and dedicated production line, allowing adaptation to any market or consumer preference. Traditional glass jars are only one option. Depending on the target audience, the factory also produces jam in soft sachets for hotels and cafes, plastic squeeze tubes with dispensers, mini portions for schools and airlines, industrial buckets, five to 10 kilograms for commercial use. Each format undergoes a separate cycle of sealing, pasteurization, and labeling. Modern production also means environmental responsibility. Factories invest in sustainable technology, turning peels and pulp waste into organic fertilizer, reusing filtered water, installing solar panels on factory roofs, using biodegradable or recycled packaging, reducing the carbon footprint through local sourcing. Additionally, digital labels with QR codes now provide transparency about the product's full journey. Once on the market, feedback from consumers is collected through hotlines, apps, and scan feedback systems. All complaints are analyzed and used to improve taste, packaging, or shelf life. These insights help refine existing recipes and create new ones, even down to details like sweetness level or fruit chunk size. The factory's R&D, Research and Development Department, is constantly working on new products. For example, jam with added probiotics, protein-enriched variants, dessert lines for healthy diets, custom flavors and branding for large corporate clients. 
Before release, each new product undergoes testing, blind tastings, and consumer focus groups. When you open a jar of strawberry jam, you're opening more than a sweet spread. It's the result of dozens of production stages, hundreds of workers, and thousands of decisions. From the field to your toast, it's a journey that takes weeks, all for one thing, the flavor of summer. Now you know how this simple yet meaningful jar of strawberry joy is made.